MJ and welcome to the last episode for this semester for the No Boys Allowed One Shot Dating Game Show. Most of us are in here are in college or just love good entertainment. Whichever one it is, good. Mama said it best. Don't say what you don't like until you try it. She meant in terms of food, but we can relate that to our dating lives. We're in college. Enjoy life. Have fun. Date around to see what you like and don't like and get a sense of what you can put up with or not. Try different things until you figure out what you like. Once you know that, go for it with confidence. And that is why we have the No Boys Allowed presenting this dating game show. Tonight, we'll be giving some men and women a chance to take one shot at meeting someone without seeing them first. The dater will choose from personality only. But luckily for you, you can see them. Let's meet our contestants. These three lucky guys will be competing for a, a shot at a date with our hot, sexy bachelorette, starting with contestant number one. Contestant number one originate from Chattanooga, Tennessee. He happens to share the same nickname as R. Kelly. Come on, you already know where I'm going with this. He looks for a girl with a great personality who is also super outgoing. I hope she's not that outgoing. Everybody, welcome contestant number one. Contestant number two loves comedy and has been told that he has a great smile. I bet he's over there smiling now. Let me see. Oh, straight face? Okay. <laughs> he comes from the beautiful, okay. prosperous city of Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, I'm sorry, but there has to be a good reason why LeBron James left. Anyways, give it up for contestant number two. That's a camera you from Miami, Florida. I'm going to Miami. Y'all know the song. Contestant number three enjoys the company of the beautiful Coca-Cola shaped woman. When he's not playing sports or being adventurous, this freshman loves a girl who is funny, smart, and graceful. Fun facts about him, someone told me he once asked Reggie Bush for an autograph under the bathroom stall. <laughs> and I was told he actually got it. Contestant number three. <laughs> And now for our bachelorette. <laughs> she loves a man who has a nice smile, smells good, someone that can make her laugh, clean. The list goes on and on. But most importantly, she needs someone who can put up with her big personality. A girl from the Bronx is not easy to put up with. On the other hand, they are the hopeless romantic. When you hear New York, New York, you should already know who I'm talking about. Let's welcome Dejanelle. Hey, Miss Sexy. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Chill. All right, so what brings you to the show today? <clears throat> I'm trying to find me a boo. <clears throat> trying to find you a boo? Yeah, I'm trying to find me a boo. Well, word on the block that you are single. Yeah, I am. All right, so I'll put it in your hands. Remember that she cannot ask the contestants their name, age, or occupation. Besides that, she can ask them whatever she likes. All right, you ready? Okay. All right, it's in your hands. Okay, so. Contestant number one, what is your ideal for a first date? Uh, for a first date, we probably go out to a nice restaurant. Go uh, since it's cold out. I don't know. <laughs> no, I ain't good with first dates. Okay. But we can do whatever you like. Whatever I like. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. Contestant number two, what is your ideal of a first date? Um. Somewhere that's crowded with a lot of people that's not too intimate because you don't know if there's going to be a second date. So if you get the first one, you got people that's around. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, this is, I want to go somewhere that somewhere that did, somewhere that's a, a neutral location that uh, you could talk, have a good conversation. You could people watch if, if conversation goes downhill and, uh, and just, just find some way. It's, it's loud enough, so if you laugh, you know what I'm saying, if I make you laugh, if you laugh loud enough, then I'm not gonna look at you crazy. So just somewhere that's neutral. Okay, and contestant number three, the last question is the same as you, and I'll go ahead and I'll uh, repeat it. What is your ideal for a first date? Um, ideal for a first date? Um, pretty much just a, a nice warm place because it's too cold for me. Uh, I'm not used to the cold weather, uh, but I prefer Jay Alexander's. I'm sorry, that was, what was that? Jay Alexander's. Jay Alexander's? Yeah. Okay. 
Nice like restaurant. Okay. <coughs> well, contestant number three, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Um, it's a little different question than the first one. A little personal. Um, boxers or briefs and why? Briefs because it makes me feel comfortable. I don't know why. I just, my mama just gave me briefs, so I just kept it the way it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, contestant number two, same question. Uh, boxer briefs. Boxer briefs? Yeah, boxer briefs. Boxer. Not the ones, you know what I'm saying, they don't, they don't ride all up in you, but they don't let you, they don't let you yeah, hang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, so to the fact that you're uncomfortable and you're sitting on top of yourself when you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, contestant number one, same question, boxers or briefs and why? I don't like to wear any. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like to wear any. <laughs> can you keep? Nah, I just keep, play. Keep. Um, I prefer boxer briefs because I'm a, uh, I was an athlete, so I always wore tights. So I felt comfortable in tights. Okay. Okay. Well, that's number one. I'm gonna ask you this question here. Um, if you don't know, I am in a sorority. Um, it's always a lot of talk about sorority girls. How do you feel if me and you are dating and I'm in a sorority? How would you balance that with the jealousy with the guys and me going out? How would you cope with that? Oh, I don't mind having that. That just, that made me feel like, oh, everybody want my girl, but that's mine. You feel me? So that's going to make me proud to have you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, contestant number two, do you need to repeat that? Uh, well, I won't repeat what he said, but... Uh, my mom's in a sorority, so and my dad is, and then you know an individual. He's not part of a fraternity, and he got her, and uh, so that just that that's, that showed me to some extent, you know that it, it means something. But at the same time, I won't I won't pay as much attention to it. Like, oh, like she's big stuff. If you mind, you mind, and I'm not gonna put the title with you that you have. You know what I mean? We'll we'll be cool without that. Okay. Good. And uh, contestant number three, same question. Um, I feel like you you know what home is if we you know if we make it to that level, and you know I'm not gonna fight because I know what my position is, so it's no reason for me to just you know get jealous of nothing. Okay. Good answer, guys. <clears throat> Impressed. Okay. Contestant number three, what is the most important value um, in a relationship? Trust. Good, question. Good answer. Contestant number, contestant number two, same question. What is the most important value in a relationship? Communication. And contestant number one, same question. Well, since so they took the two I was going to say, I guess I'll combine them and say trust and communication. Okay, but if you, could think of your, if you could think of something else, what would you put in there? Friendship. You got to be, gotta be friends to make a good relationship. Hmm. That was decent. Yeah, all good. Okay, okay. Let's let's get let's get more into it. I want to know more of your personalities. Um, well, I'm from New York, and one of my favorite rappers, I love him to death, is Fifty Cent. And I want for you all to uh, spit your favorite um, Fifty Cent song lyric. So we're gonna start with contestant number two. It could be any Fifty song, but I want you to at least give me a lyric. At least, okay? I got you. All right, let's go. All right. You shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. And if you got a glass jaw, you should watch your mouth. Because I'll break your face. Have your beat running mumbling through the chase. You going is me, dog. You're making a mistake. I keep going. You did all verse, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My well, that was good. That was good. Contestant number one is your time. My favorite lyric is. I love you like a fat kid, little cake. <laughs> What's the rest of that lyric? I don't know. I ain't heard that song in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and contestant, and contestant number three. Uh, <laughs> I don't really listen to Fifty Cent that much, but the, uh, I guess uh, Window Shopper. That's one of my favorite ones because. Do you know the lyrics? Do you know? You nah, I just know. I just know the main chorus. It used a window shop. That's all I know because I looked at the video and it spoke a lot to me. I didn't pay no attention to the uh, to the lyrics because so images. You don't, you don't images, know the chorus? Huh? You don't know the chorus? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, contestant number three, since you know the chorus, I'm gonna ask you this question: Are you the type of guy that likes to have their phone locked, 
in their pockets and act like they're silent, or you're the type of guy that just have your phone out because you have nothing to hide. I ain't got nothing to hide. If you want to know the answer, I'll tell you the answer. Straight up. Okay. All right, Dejanil. So, are you ready to make a decision? Nah. Not shit. ready? Mm -hmm. How about if I let them say your name for you one time? Okay, we can do that. That'll work? Okay. Contestant number one, can you say Dejanil for me? Dejanil. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number two. Dejanel. You can say it better than that. Come on. You want me to say it in like a, uh, a seductive way? Is that how you like it? I, want I can say Dejanel. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number three. Dejanel. <laughs> I couldn't put no infection to it. I don't know how to do that. They All took right. the ones I was going to do. It's on you. You got to choose one, baby girl. Do I have to? Yeah. Try to consider what you think I think I should do. Can't put numbers up. Which one? One, two, three. Oh, no, no, no. Number one. Three. Oh, my gosh. This is so you gotta, you gotta pick one. I know. Well, I want to say you guys are all, you all sound like you're good guys, though. I do want to say that. Um, who I'm going to go with? I think I'm going to go with consistent number two. Two? All right. Can contestant number one and three come over and meet? Please, that'd be so sad. Miss Bronx right here. Contestant number one and three. Oh, Bronx Kelly. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> did, did we do good? We did good. Okay, contestant number two, come on over. <laughs> hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Oh, Lord. Oh, did you about to pop? <laughs> Where we going? Keep it on. Oh, I got more, I got more questions? Yeah. So, Eric, did you know where you guys going to go? Where yeah, we going to go? What you like? I, I like Red Lobster. What's my favorite restaurant? We going tomorrow. Free Cheddar Bay Biscuits? Oh, yeah, we want a Red Lobster. Yeah. Okay, well, we have our winners. We have Dejanel and Eric. Don't go anywhere. We'll have more. We'll be right back. Hearts. We have a couple who claims to be happy together, but they were willing to date other people. See, that that is something, that should tell you something. Why do we need to test the waters to be grateful for what we really have? I don't know, but maybe these two will be able to explain. Let's welcome our couple, Shelly and DJ Lome. <laughs> so, tell us the story. So, where'd you guys meet? Well, go ahead and tell them. Well, see how she just light up when she tells uh -oh, me. Go ahead, girl. I see it. <laughs> well, I actually picked up an internship after I graduated, and you know, I went to Washington D.C. You know, I was walking around the White House, and um, I was a gardener at the time, but I was on my way up. You know, <laughs> okay. You know, you got to start from the bottom. Say so you got to crawl for you walk. So you know, I was taking baby steps. You know. So how did you approach her, or Shelly? How did he approach you? Well, actually. He approached me with a couple of flowers in his hands, you know, and I looked at him like he was crazy because, you know, you're a gardener, you know, I need something better than that, but you know. My, my jumpsuit was creased, though. It so I kept walking sure. and, you know, he grabbed my arm and he was like, you know, you look so beautiful. So, you know, <laughs> we started talking and he seemed like he was intelligent and. So did you have to pull out your cards or something? Give us one of them lines you have to Well, I, I basically went something like, uh, uh, roses are red, violets are blue. I didn't believe it, love at first sight till I seen you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Did that, that work for you, Well, something like that. I don't believe in love at first sight. Until she seen me, you know. She didn't believe it at first. I had to make her believe, you know. It was like a fairy tale. It's still in process, though. Yeah, because okay. I still don't believe. 
out. He still don't believe. No. I mean, you have to have some. What's your best? What would you say is one of his best features that you liked about him? Um, I loved it, the fact that he was supportive of me. Every dream, every job, everything that mm -hmm. I wanted to be involved in, he supported that. Mm -hmm. So I appreciated that. What about you? Got your back like a bra strap, baby. Uh, her, you know, with her, she's uh, she just been there through thick and thin, you know. Like uh, when I was eating ramen noodles every night, coming home with thorn, you know, prickly fingers and rough hands. Mm -hmm. You know, she had that bath water ran, you know. We was a little short on figures, so I was using the Johnson & Johnson, the baby, you know, but it worked good <laughs> on my skin, though, so, you know. But she, she held me down like a big girl at ankle weights, you know what I'm saying? So I got to keep her on my side, but, you know. Okay, so what's the issue? I see you guys still glowing and smiling, so what's the problem? She be petty, man. I ain't going to lie. Pause. Up. This man don't shave no more. It's no shave, no I finger. don't like that. Somebody. No, it'd be no shave. January, <laughs> February, March, April, May, June, it, it July, be, August. It be cold sometimes. That doesn't matter. So what's what's wrong with Shelly? Man, she didn't get on this tip. You know what I'm saying? Been watching TV. You know, I, I, she's all she watches reality shows, but ain't none of them real. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to tell her. But what's she wrong with that? She live in a fantasy world. You what's see what wrong I'm saying? Yeah, she won't even let me talk. So you guys were able to date other people. So let's see how that went. So let's bring out. The person that you went on a date with, let's bring her out. Welcome her. Yeah. What up, girl? Get on over here. How you doing? What's up, girl? What's up? What's wrong with you? So, tell us about you guys' date. Where did he take you? Um, he flew me to Miami, Florida. Flew you to Miami? What you guys do in Miami? Well, you know, we had a good time. When I seen her from jump, you know, uh, it's, let me tell the story. You told me y'all went downtown Nashville. I wanted mm. that. That was a surprise. That was a lie. <laughs> that was a surprise. You know, I was going to tell you the story. Anyway, what I, what we did, you know, I flew her down to South Beach, you know, since I seen full lips and hips, I wanted to get to utilize that body on the beach, you know, okay. take full advantage of seeing that, you know. So we went down to South Beach, you know, for a little weekend rendezvous. You feel me? Okay, so let's bring out the person that Shelly went on a date with. Let's bring out Reggie. <laughs> How you doing? Mm -hmm. Hey, dope. <sighs> yes. Charlie, look at that. So you had the advantage of taking Shelly out. Yes. And you knew she had a boyfriend. Where'd you take her? Because you know you had to spice it up because she was already taken. Yeah, see, so you know, well, see, when I saw Shelly, you know, she seemed like a broken girl. So I, I, feel, like, I feel like I should do something that, you know, <laughs> something out of the ordinary. So we took, I took her to Los Angeles where I'm from, and we went skydiving. After that, we went white water rafting, and I took her to a nice restaurant. It was a great day. You hear that? Everything was just so new to me. Yeah. Like, I've never skydived. She said she never been. You were scared of heights. That's what you told me. Mm. So you were willing to take adventures with him. Mm -hmm. And you were willing to take her to another place that you wouldn't even tell her where exactly y'all are going. I mean, you know, they say, you know, some things just don't need to be discussed, you know, so. So, I, Shelly, how do you feel about that? You a liar. That's how I feel. Who wants to be with a liar? You know, so do you do you understand what you're dealing with right here? I mean, I see what she's saying, but I met a totally different man when I was in Miami. Mm. I ain't never lied to her. <laughs> I ain't never lied to her, you know. What about you, Reggie? <sighs> I'm debating, just listening, because, you know, this is a shock to me to see that her this is a boyfriend. What you yeah. trying to say? Nothing. So, Shell, you never said you had a boyfriend? <laughs> well, I can't really say I have a boyfriend when he's not doing the duties. Because I'm a man. You're right. I'm a man friend. Well, this <laughs> oh, okay. well, this is the segment of Change Your Hearts. Both of you guys can pull out your whiteboards and your markers. See, look and I want you guys to decide, are you guys going to stay together or have a change of heart? Because, I mean, from the looks of it, you guys were happily together, glowing, then you went on these dates. So, let's see. the boards. I want your honest answers. 
So, Reggie, are you hoping that she picked you? You know, I'm not used to denial, so I really do hope she picks me. Lame. <laughs> what about you? Loser. You think he's going to stay together with Shelly or get another shot with you? No, I think it's over. Think it's over for them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. So, let's see. Reveal your answers. One, two, three. My heart is broke. I'm gone. She disqualified. <laughs> she disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how you, what? I already got him pegged. She's coming to LA, oh, cuz. That's all right, I already had the lights cut off anyway. Well, in my <laughs> well, this couple decide that they want to have a change of heart, so I hope the guys will bust of luck with that. So maybe some couples need to test the waters. Don't change that channel. Up next, we'll have a bachelor who's a twin. They always say two is better than one. Let's see the double vision after the break. So before the break, I did say twins, but unfortunately the other one is taken. But if you like one, you'll like the other. You might even get lucky and meet both. Three so many body. Until then, protocols, ladies first. Contestant number one is a sophomore who likes a nice guy with a nice personality, which is understanding the lacking of good ones existing in her hometown. But it could be a few. Give a round of applause for contestant number one. Contestant number two was born and raised in Chi-Town. This freshman likes a guy with a good personality and nice teeth, and he, has to, and he has to make her laugh. She would love to try everything once before she dies, AKA I'm gonna let y'all fill in the blank. Let's give it up for contestant number two. <laughs> Finally, we have contestant number three. Originally from Kansas City, she like a guy with a nice smile and a good style. She loves to make music and make people laugh. Okay, you better go on with your bad self. Some even say she looked like the beautiful Kiki Palmer and the sexy Angela Bassett. Let's hear for contestant number three. <laughs> and now for The Bachelor. Yes, he has a twin brother, and yes, he's from Memphis and a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. But there's more to him. He's a gentleman and loves making his woman laugh. He will do whatever he has to do to put a smile on her face. Y'all get the picture. The lady said that they want a guy with a nice smile and a nice personality, but he must have a woman who's up to try any and everything. He's like the perfect ladies man, if you're not the territorial type. From Memphis, Tennessee, Justin Washington. <laughs> did, you, did you bring me some pizza? Yeah, girl. You brought me some pizza? Got a little supreme. How you doing, Justin? I'm doing good. How about yourself? So word on the street that you a single man, Ah, uh, yeah. You? Single and ready to mingle. All right, so what brings you to the show today? Um, one shot, looking for love. Hopefully, I'll find them within these three contestants. Hopefully, they're nice and friendly. Are y'all nice and friendly, ladies? Nice and friendly? <laughs> yes. 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 Or y'all not even nice? Mm. Uh oh. You'll find out. <laughs> ladies, y'all can't be acting shy Don't over act this. Shy with me. No need to be shy. No needs to be shy. <laughs> well, first, I want them to say your name for me, all right? Okay. Would you like that? All right. All right. <laughs> Contestant number one, say hi to Justin for me. Hi, Justin. I'm Shalita. You're not supposed to say the name or occupation, I but that's her fake name. We're going to go with it. Yeah. Contestant number two. Hey. So say hi, Justin. Oh, hey, Justin. And contestant number three. Hey, Justin. 
All right, Justin, make sure you don't ask them their name, their, occupa their okay. occupation, or their age, okay? Okay. So, all right, let's go put it in your hands. Ladies and gentlemen, be free to be yourself. Have okay. Fun. Okay, contestant number one, how you doing? All right, how you are right? you? Right? Okay. Okay, if I call you to cuddle, how would you respond? Let's go for it. You said let's mm -hmm. go for it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I like that. Except for a woman, I like that. Okay, number two. Okay, contestant number two. Uh-huh. What is your wildest fantasy? Mm. I know, right? Wildest. I probably didn't try it already, but Whoa. what's yours? <laughs> you, you, you mind elaborating on that? <laughs> <laughs> I about didn't try it. I mean, what's yours? You said what now? What's yours? I'm asking the questions over here, baby. Oh, okay. Well, I apologize. I apologize. Yeah. Well, okay, I'd like to contest number three. Uh, what's one thing you can touch on the guy to make him go crazy? The back of his neck. You said the back of the neck? Yep. What about that side? I'm sorry? What about the side of the neck? Any, really? I can touch his cheek. I can touch his shoulder. I can touch his hand. And I'm pretty sure he's go crazy. Oh, you like that? Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, contestant number one. Uh, how many dates will you go on until you pick up the check? <laughs> um, <laughs> a few. Once I know that um, you won't mind doing it for me, then I do it for you. Okay. Okay. So it's about two, two or three. About yeah. I about, about two. two. <laughs> okay. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Contestant number two. How do you describe a freaky slash romantic night? Freaky slash romantic. Um. Freaky and romantic. I guess romantic, we could start at the movies and then freaky, probably back when we get to the car. Oh. Or maybe even on the way to the car. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, I can dig that. I can. Okay. Uh, I can. Contestant, contestant number three. Uh, I have a, I got a twin brother. Uh, would you get mad if he played tricks on you? <laughs> <laughs> I would probably Ooh, okay. find it funny, but I'm pretty sure I could tell you all apart. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, contestant number one. I like a real rounded woman. Do you consider yourself real rounded? If so, let me know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last well part. Well rounded. Are you real winded? Rounded? I, I can't hear it. Every time he say something, they laugh. Can you hear me? Yeah, every time you say something, they laugh. Can you say it again? Well rounded. <laughs> you ask me, am I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, how are you? Take your time, ain't no rush. Um. What I, what I, what I mean, what I, let me elaborate on that a little bit. Okay. What I mean by this, like, okay, can you play spades with me, play the game with me? You know, oh, yes. Boys. Yes. Very. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, contestant number two. Boy shorts or thong? Boy shorts. Boy shorts? Mm hmm. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, wow. contestant number three. Everybody has a wild side. How do you describe yours? <laughs> Let's see. My wild side would probably be <coughs> when, nobody's, no, when nobody's around, I dance around my room. To Janet Jackson with nothing but boy shorts on. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, contestant number one. Uh, describe yourself to me in one word. Outgoing. You said outgoing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Contestant number two. I like a uh I like a woman that's got a good support system. You know, uh she can take care of me when I'm down, you know, really be a backbone. Okay, so if I can cook, if I didn't know how to cook, would you still eat my cooking? Oh, I'm, I'm going to try to show you how to cook. I'm going to help you in the kitchen. I got you. Well, do you know how to cook? Oh, for sure. What you like to eat? Well, you asking the question, but yeah, I got you. I can cook. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, contestant number three. This is serious for me, okay? What's okay. the most craziest thing you have done to a guy? The craziest thing I ever did to a guy. 
Um. Let me think. One time I tripped the guy. <laughs> no, I'm I'm dead serious. He was walking and he made me really mad. And I so wanted him to know that he made me mad. So, so you ain't keyed up, you ain't keyed no cars or bust the windows? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not that brave. No, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> okay, okay. Contestant number one, you like it with the lights on or the lights off? Both. You like both? Mm-hmm. But if I had to pick, I would say lights on so you can see what I'm working with. Uh. All right, contestant number two. What's something that you have done as a team but your parents your parents don't know about? That I've done as a team? Yeah. Um Oh, wait, teen or like teen as double E-N or like team as T-E-A-M? Teen. Team, like, like teen, teenager. Teenager, oh. Um, I went out and got piercings. You said what now? Piercings. Piercings? Yeah. Well, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop it right here, you know? <laughs> We are in college. We are. They grown. They grown. You know, we grown. They grown. What are you ready to make your decision? Um, yeah. Tell me what you like about each contestant, please. Um, okay. All of them are different in their own way. You know, some are laid back conservative. Some are a little bit more, you know, open. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And um, some just real laid back. I like that. You know, I like the one who says she's well-rounded. Well rounded. <laughs> <laughs> That's contestant number one. If I'm you not know what? It's just your accent. It's okay. Yeah, it just you know? is. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We're not holding that against you. I hope not. All right, so you ready to make your decision? Who's it going to be? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can only have one. This one. Fellas, who y'all think I should go for? <laughs> Doof, doof. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go with contestant number two. What was that? I'm going to go with contestant number two. Contestant number two? Give it up for two. I can. All right, can I have contestant one and three come over? Just I want to see who you didn't choose. Okay. Just one and three? Contestant number one. How you doing? Give me some love. How you doing? Give me some love. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, contestant number two, come on over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right, so Justin, where are you gonna take her? Sorry. Um, maybe to a little Maggiano's. Some sweet. Some nice. Yeah, that's do you like that? that? Yeah. So is she, what you? Did we do a good job, Justin? You did a wonderful job. I'm smiling. We did a wonderful job. Smile. Well, is that it? The best of luck to them, too. The bus. <laughs> Cheer. Coming back after the break to see the next new pair of lovebirds. We'll be right back. All right, we're back with our last round of One Shot. This round is for a lovely couple who has it together or at least I really hope they do. This round is called, I Know You Best. When you have a significant other, you should know them better than anyone else. We're going to see how well this couple knows each other. I will ask Tanya and Austin questions about their relationship, and they will have 10 seconds to write their answers on the whiteboards. If they get at least 80% of the questions right, then they'll win a free gift card from NBA team sponsored by Local My Local. As well, go along with answering the questions we will learn more about these couples. All right, you two? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. All right, I have Tanya to my left and Austin Edwards. So how long you guys been dating? Four years. Okay, that was a quick question. Wow, yeah, all right. You guys ready to get started? Yeah. All right, Tanya, what is your boyfriend's favorite color? 
you guys both answered. Run down, make sure that she can't see. Sloppy. All right. No, you can't look at her. Let me give her the eye. Well, she got a ring. I so wanted to write it bigger. <laughs> you want to write it bigger? <laughs> Calm down. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Ready? Let me see. All right. Got the first one right. Okay. Go ahead and race it. All right. When it comes to when you guys are eating dinner, right? Who get the last piece? Who get the last piece? Who get the last bite, the last piece of food. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Are you asking me this? I'm asking both of y'all. Oh. You gotta pick up your board. She can. I can see that too. Oh, okay. Good. Pick it up a little bit. All right. Who get the last piece of food, Edward? I mean, good question. She does? Who get the last piece of food? You do? Okay. <laughs> All right. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it's not. We she should hungry. get the last food. You be hungry, too. Oh, chill out. Here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Give me that right there. No. No. <laughs> All right. So, Austin, what would you say is Tanya's favorite spot on her? Huh? The, hold on. So, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's our what in those spots? <laughs> you know, you know. You know. Okay, can I write that on here? It's <laughs> in the room. <laughs> you might as well go to the next question. Next right, question? Uh-oh. Right that's that's okay. not a good question. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you all my answer. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when it comes to a heated argument, who get the last word? See, she looking. See, I race. already know what he's no, gonna come say. On, erase that. Start over. See, look, I'm, I'm gonna give you a technique. Matter of fact, let me scoot over you here. You know what? When you have, yeah. you gotta, you gotta slant it up a little it's bit. It's only one right. answer. Who, who get the last word? I can see it now. Me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that don't count. That don't count. <laughs> All right. If she has the choice to wear boxers or thongs, which one do you think would be the first one she'll put on? Like boy shorts or just a uh, boxer? Boy shorts. Uh. Or a thong. Uh, put, put your board up. Put your board I ain't going to look. I hope he know me. <laughs> All right. What's the first thing you'll put on? Boy shorts and what you got? Boy shorts. Okay. Good job. Yeah, so. so far, you guys looking good. Give me that race card. Oh. Right. <laughs> 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 to... All right. <laughs> All right, what is Austin's favorite movie? Oh, you don't know this. I uh, promise you, we're we going to go home and watch it three got? times tonight. <laughs> I promise you. What's his favorite movie? <laughs> oh, man. I can't, oh, so I can't no. remember. Oh, don't worry. You got to guess. You I got to guess. Seconds. Don't five give seconds. me five seconds. Five. Matter of fact, I think I need to return <laughs> it to you, J-Man. I borrowed it. <laughs> I'll return it tonight. You don't know? No, I know. I, I can't remember. All right, Austin, what's your favorite movie? Life. Life is his favorite movie, Tanya. You oh, got to know that. Oh. I don't like that movie, so when like he watch it? it, I go to sleep. All right, this is going to be a payback for Tanya. What's Tanya's favorite movie? That's easy. Oh, I know this. <laughs> pull your board up, pull your board up. I got to write my answer, too? Mm-hmm. All right, Tanya, what's your favorite movie? Hold on, get you. Love and Basketball, what's your favorite movie? Love and Basketball. Oh, y'all are just, just precious. I'm going to get him, though. I'm going to get him. Give me the eraser. Oh, come on, give some love. <laughs> All right, Austin, what is Tanya's shoe size? Oh, I know this. You bought me some shoes or four? Anybody else? No. Let's just see if we got to write it down. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Got five seconds. I think she put the first one down. Go ahead. All right, Tanya, what's your shoe size? Seven oh. and a half? What's your shoe size? Six and a half, sorry. You were close, you were close. what you had the first time? Seven. That would've worked. All right, Austin, what would you say is Tanya, well, what would you think that he would say is your best feature? And what is her best feature? We just talked about this. 
So I better get this right. Yeah, we just I just told you this. All right. Let's see you, Austin. Her smile. Her smile. Good rehearsal. Good rehearsal. <laughs> last, last question. I got to make it good. Got to make it good. What? What was the date when you guys first officially got together as a couple? You just quizzed me on this. What? The, the day that we made it official. What day, day did we make the, it like, official? Like the, the day. The actual day that we made it official. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, dang. Because you just asked me like I didn't know. <laughs> Check his answer first. No, let's go to hers first. Go eat. What's your answer? How about y'all both do it at the same time? One, on the count of three. One, two, three. November 20th. Okay. <laughs> well, looks like this couple knows each other. Best of luck to both of you guys. Well, that's all that we have for this semester. Hopefully, these matches will enjoy their lovely day tonight, and this couple will have more years together. I want to give a special thanks for the sponsors of the show, Logo My Logo. They were the creators of our lovely t-shirts that you see walking around. And of course, our favorite professors, Mr. Laughlin and Perry and all of you guys. Thank you guys for coming. Good job, guys.